Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, those who speak friendly words to their neighbors while planning evil in their hearts. Give them the punishment they so richly deserve. Measure it out in proportion to their wickedness. Pay them back for all their evil deeds. Give them a taste of what they have done to others. They care nothing for what the Lord has done or for what his hands has made. So he will tear them down and they will never be rebuilt. Some of these people think you can come back from anything. <sighs> they think that they think it's sweet. They praying to the Lord, forgive me, Lord. Well, I repented. It's okay now. But see, they fail to realize that everybody is not going to heaven. Everybody is not going to be saved. Everybody is not truly repentant. Everybody is not chosen. You know, we got a lot of this chosen stuff going around. I'm chosen, I'm chosen, I'm chosen. Everybody ain't chosen. Okay, um, some of these people is going to blame you for the things that's going on in their life. They did it with their own hands, their own words, their own actions, their own heart, their own thoughts, their own everything. And God saw them. And some of these folks is going to blame you. It says, measure it out in proportion. To their wickedness. Pay them back for all their evil deeds. See, you reap what you sow. See, everybody like to say, my bank account in heaven. When they hear that, they be like, that's right, that's right. But yeah, it is. But are you depositing good checks in them? Or is you depositing fake checks? Is you doing fraud <laughs> in the name of the Lord? <laughs> Is you depositing bad checks in these accounts? Because, see, the bank teller going to run them numbers one day. And when it don't add up, baby, they're going to close your account out. You know, <laughs> when you overdraft it, because you did so much, you don't got no good deeds, no good checks going in your account. You got so many bounced checks and so many overdraft fees that they didn't, they didn't close your checking account out. <laughs> Same way in heaven. You're doing so much evil. You're hurting people. You're using people. You're manipulating people. You're ab <laughs> abusing people. Uh, slandering them. Gossiping about them. You're mocking them. Laughing at them. Making fun of them. Picking on them. Beating them. Spitting on them. Kicking them. Hitting them. Slapping them. Whether it be physically or spiritually. Emotionally. You're torturing people. You're writing a check that you can't cash. And the thing is, see, everybody think that God is this God that's just going to make everything better. Y'all forget he is a God of war. He is the Lord of heaven's armies. Listen, everybody feel like, well, he'll forgive me. I said sorry. Well, the Lord know my heart. Well, I did what I did. I ain't going to do it no more. You don't understand that everybody got their day when enough is enough. When you go to school, you only got so many days where you can be absent or tardy before your consequences come. When you go um, to make your payments on whatever you paying on, you only got so many times where you can be late before they decide we coming to repossess that. We're coming to get that. We're finna evict that. Okay? It is going to be a day to collect. See, people think that they evil deeds don't add up. But see, you keep depositing them checks and you got to get your payback. You gonna feel like they're they going to feel like it's unfair. They're going to blame you for the hell that they're going through, for the things that they're losing, for things falling apart in their life. No, it's just God paying you back for all your evil deeds. See, people hate. They like to dish it out, but they don't want to taste of their own medicine. Let some of these people 
let you do the stuff that they have done to you. Let you do it to them. They probably won't even talk to you no more. They won't even forgive you no more. They'll probably been and tried to kill you, had you locked up. They probably been and tried to do all types of stuff. They probably want to take you down if you did the things that they have done to you, if you did it to them. See, it says, and I'm reading from Psalms 28, 3 through 5. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, those who speak friendly words to their neighbors while to their neighbors while plotting evil deeds. I mean while plotting evil in their hearts. So many people coming up to you with conversations, they just playing it cool. Deep down inside, they hate you. They don't like you. They despise you. They wish you would die. They wish you would lose everything. They waiting for you to slip up so they can take your blessings, your children, your money, your happiness, your freedom, your life. But little do they know, the very thing that they're plotting for you is the very thing that's going to happen to them. Every word that they speak against you, they're going to eat them same words in a big bowl of cold soup. Everything that they do to you is going to be done unto them. Everything that they tried to make you lose, they tried to make you lose something that's of value to you. And God is going to make them lose something that is of value to them. They hurt you and embarrassed you and humiliated you. God is going to see to it that they are hurt, embarrassed, and humiliated. <laughs> they talked about you. They gossiped about you. They told all your business, all your secrets. They <laughs> ran your name through the mud. God is going to see to it that they news is out there. They business is out there. Accusations is out there about them. See, these people don't know you reap what you sow. Okay? <laughs> It says, those who speak friendly words to their neighbors while planning evil in their hearts. God, see them. They can come put on a fake smile for you. They can come put on a, hey, how you doing? I just called and check on you. They can come put on a, I'm just coming to see about your kids. I don't care about you. They can come uh, put on a, we got to work together, so I'm just being cordial for us to be on the job. They can come with a... They can come with whatever tricks and schemes they got. A snake is still a snake. A snake is still a snake. And one thing about our God, he said we will crush the head of the snake. Okay? He's chopping the heads off of these snakes these days. Okay? It says give them the punishment they so richly deserve. Everybody want to get rich out here. Nobody want to do right. They want to get money the fast way. They want to get recognition and acknowledgement the easy way, the fast way. They want to come up and have their five seconds of fame off of your name. They want to run around town and act like the victim. Oh, poor me, my child doing this to me. Oh, my boss doing this to me. My neighbor said this to me. I don't know why they treat me like this after all I've done for them. Oh, Give them the punishment they so richly deserve. Some of these people, they bank account and add it up. Yeah, you chose to do work. But did you choose to do the Lord's work? Because if not, you chose to do the devil's work. And somebody got to get paid one way or another. And see, one thing about God, God conquers all. He never lost a fight, never lost a battle. One thing about God, his check going to cash Every single time. One thing about Satan, Satan will hire you, make you do his dirty deeds, make you do his work, and have you looking like a fool. You ain't getting paid. That's a false person. That's a false spirit. That's a false prophet. That's a false friend. That's a false relative. That's a false lover. And they done did the devil's work and got a false check. And... <laughs> They're going to get paid all right. <laughs> They're going to get the punishment they so richly deserve. Okay? Measure it out in proportion to their wickedness. See, a lot of these people, they walk around like they don't stink. Oh, I ain't that bad. You worse than me. Not knowing God is for you. You bad. You low. We ain't in the same boat. <laughs> Oh, you dirty, you down and out, nasty. You you da, 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 not understanding in God's eyes, you are rich, you are clean, you are pure, you are whole. Listen, 
And they are the filthy ones. Listen. Measure it out into in proportion to their wickedness. Some of them is finna be crying out to God. These people is finna be crying out to God. Help me, help me, help me. Save me, save me. Lord, provide for me, provide for me. But guess what? Every day that they made your day hard, that they didn't help you, that they went out their way to belittle you, disgrace you, and toss you to the side, abandon you. Every day that they bought up self, Oh, I'm just thinking about myself. I don't got time for nobody else. I don't got time for you. You beneath me. God said, I don't got time for you. You beneath me. I don't want to answer your prayers. I saw how you did my people, and I told you to get up off of them. So now I'm going to make you feel what they felt, but worse. <laughs> Some of them think, oh, after I go through my punishment, I'm going to be okay. I just, I'm just having a rough time right now. It's just the Lord getting on me right now. It says, pay them back for all their evil deeds. Give them a taste of what they have done to others. Some of them don't think they stuff stink. Some of them don't think what they did to you was that bad. Oh, you should be over that. Oh, you still holding on to that? Oh, that still hurts you? Oh, I'm sorry for you hurting. Oh, you should have been over that by now. Oh, well, it wasn't that bad. You just being dramatic. Oh, I don't remember. I don't recall doing that to you. They're going to call you a liar. Like what happened didn't really go down. Come on now. They're going to try to wipe your memory clean and, and play this side as if things didn't play out how they did. Because they always want to keep their hands clean, not knowing they filthy. they disgusting. They're wretched in the eyes of the Lord. Give them a taste of what they have done to others. They care nothing for what the Lord has done or for what his hands have made. They don't care nothing about you. They were, Some of these people, it's people in the church running around here talking about how they love others, how they're a good person. You ain't, you ain't no good person. You hateful. You evil. You wicked. You spiteful. You envious. You jealous. You wicked. You say you love people, but you don't love me. They don't love you. They got bitterness in their heart for you. They want revenge on you. They claim they sparing you. No, baby, you can never spare me. God is sparing you. But the time has come where he is fed up with you. See, they always think that the day of the Lord ain't coming. They said Jesus is returning, and he is here now. He has returned. He is on the scene to do his thing <laughs> they care nothing for what the lord has made i mean for what the lord has done or for what his hands <laughs> have made you are made by god perfectly and wonderfully made they don't care nothing about you they don't care nothing about what happened to you hoping you fail if you fail who your children gonna fall back on what your business gonna do? What your future gonna hold? They don't care nothing about you or your legacy. They don't care nothing about the assignment that God got for you. They don't care about the fact that God said, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and give you a future or whatever he said in the Bible. They don't want to see your future. They don't care about what the Lord got planned for you. All they want is your destruction today. So he will tear them down and they will never be rebuilt. Some of these people finna hit rock bottom and they gonna sit there forever for the rest of their days. And it's not to talk about people because people, you know, they go through things in life where they do end up homeless, on drugs, poor, or, or you know, in prostitution and, you know, don't be ever able to get out, you know, due to certain circumstances. But some of these people... They're going to be so loaded, they're going to forever have to scheme and scam. They're going to forever have to beg and ask. They, they, they will never be the, the lender. They will always be the borrower. They will never have peace. They will always be running from place to place. They will never have ownership of anything. They will never be able to have a good, a good job. They're going to work for pennies and scraps. And sometimes they think that, oh, well... 
I'm okay right now. Now understanding that sometimes the sin, the, the payment for your sins, yeah, you might be okay. But the payment for your sins might hit your children. Now that's what hurt when when God start snatching your loved ones up out of here. When God start removing your loved ones from you. When God start making your children struggle on account of what you did when your bloodline is cursed. See, that's why you got to be separate from these people. Because, see, us children of God, we got a whole legacy to protect. Separate yourself. Purify your bloodline. Purify yourself. With God's help, you know what I'm saying? With God's power. You don't got time to play with these people because I'm telling you what's finna go down. A lot of these people, they are going to repent. But it's too late, says the Lord. Some of them, it's too late for them. It's too late. They're a day late and a dollar short. They done wrote a check that they can't cash. And the thing is, it says right here, Psalms 28, 3 through 5, so he will tear them down and they will never be rebuilt. Never. Everybody know what the word never mean. Ain't no more. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no letting up. Ain't no restoration. Ain't no peace. Ain't no hope for you. You're done for. And y'all gonna watch this with your own two eyes. You gonna hear about it. Now, one thing you cannot do is sit around and wait. Oh, I got that word. I heard it. I'm watching. No, baby, because see, nobody know the time, nor the day, nor the hour. When the Lord return, you ain't going to know the time, nor the day, nor the hour when it's time for the Lord to collect. When it's time for destruction to hit. See, God catch you by surprise. Man, so many people ain't even going to see it coming. One day they up, one day they down. One day they in a position, the next day they out of it. You will never know when the Lord is about to take you down. You will never know. You will, you will be plotting on somebody today, not knowing that the Lord has a plan to end your life next week. That the Lord got a heart attack around the corner for you. That the Lord got a family death approaching. You could be plotting on somebody downfall today, not wanting to help somebody tomorrow. And next thing you know, that very person that you did that to, they strike big like a lotto ticket. God bless them tremendously. They are blessed and they are abundant and prosperous now. But see, you done told your ass. And you done did so much that now you went, you ashamed to even go to the blessed and ask for help. Now you done did so much. <laughs> Y'all done beefed so much. You done talked about them so much that now... That now you can't even cross that bridge because it's burnt, burnt to the ground. What you gonna do? You know, I want y'all to think about Joseph in the Bible. Hey, sold that man into slavery. Hey. These people is going to regret everything that they have done to you. Everything that they have said to you. They are mugging you. Bitter, angry, hateful towards you. They think you're failing today. Not knowing you are the very one who is going to excel and exceed. Beyond anything they could ever imagine. And they're going to sit with their heads hanging low. Because every word that they spread it about you. Every hateful thing they said about you. When the truth come out about who you are. They're going to be disgraced. How can I clear up that lie? Dang I done told everybody they character bad. I done told everybody that they broke. I done told everybody they a bad parent. I done told everybody they a hoe. I done told everybody that they steal. I done told everybody that they kill. I done told everybody that they a liar. I done told everybody that they ain't gonna never be nothing. That they a bum. I done told everybody that. I done told all their business. I done told all their secrets. I done told all this stuff. Yet, when you look at them, they are magnificent. The glory of God is upon them. What can I do now? 
God has snatched my tongue out my mouth. He has silenced my lying lips. I am embarrassed. I can't even sit with them and enjoy the glory of God. I can't even sit in their presence no more. What are they going to do?